123, 124, 125. Hey, Haley. 100. What are we looking for? Leaks? No, I'm counting stars, and you just made me lose count. Thanks. Uh, oh, well, I'm, I'm s sorry, but Haley, we're in the basement. Well, I was using my imagination. Oh. How many stars are there, anyway? Well, you know, actually, in our galaxy alone, they think there's about a hundred billion stars. Wow. You know, I wonder if Abraham made it to all of them. Uh, well, um, uh, anyway, Haley, I can't think like this. I can't do my imagination and actually get on with the lesson today laying here. Can, can we just, like, get with it and get started? Okay. Okay, thanks. I just got, you know, lost in space after reading today's lesson. You, you got lost in space? Well, look who didn't read the lesson. Abraham goes to space to the stars. Abraham doesn't go to space? Nope, you're wrong. God promised him the stars if he has kids. Oh, I think I know what's happened here. You've just gotten a little confused. God doesn't promise Abraham stars. He promises him a child and that his descendants... Oh, well, then his descendants get to go to the stars. No. Okay, let's look back at exactly what God says. It says in Genesis 15, 5, God tells Abram, look at the sky and try to count the stars. You will have as many descendants as that. Oh. So Abraham has a bunch of kids and then all of his kids will have a bunch of kids? Well, no, actually at this point in Abram's life, he didn't have any kids yet. Um, but God promised him a son and then promised that his descendants would be so many that they would be as many as the stars. You think he meant in our galaxy or in the universe? Well, I don't think that's quite as important as the point that God promised a really old man a son, and that the son would inherit all that Abraham had and all that Abraham had been promised to by God. It says in the next verse, Abram put his trust in the Lord, and because of this, the Lord was pleased with him and accepted him. So Abraham gets a son, mm -hmm. and then eventually lots of great, 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 great grandkids. Well, yeah, yeah. He has a son named Isaac, and Isaac goes on to have kids, and then those kids have kids, and then those kids have kids, and those kids, and so on, and so on, and so on. And lots and lots of children have come from the family of Abraham. I wonder if we've reached that number yet. Um, you mean 100 billion? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of Christmas presents to have to buy, and birthday cards, and Easter eggs to hide, and... Haley, Haley. Yeah? Let's just hush and use our imaginations and get back to counting those stars and be thankful that God kept his promises to uh, Abraham. Okay, I was at 125. 